every year at Christmas time, my dad puts on his overalls and he goes either to church or to a community organization and he does a monologue called Christmas at Greenpoint. Christmas at Greenpoint was written by uh, a man named Mr. Bissell who lived just outside of Spartanburg, South Carolina near my family's hometown of Easley. And he had a column in the local newspaper that he wrote under the pseudonym Eve Goodlow. And so Christmas at Greenpoint is uh, from Mr. Goodlow's perspective. It's the story of his Christmas, 1930, the year that the monologue was written. And um, Mr. Goodlow worked at the cotton mill. And this story is important to my family, partly because uh, up to my mom's generation, everybody in my family worked in the cotton mill. Um, and it's a, it's a beautiful and poignant story and it touches a, a lot of people because um, it, it gets at something really important which is the, the way our grief is intensified at the, at, in the Christmas season. And the story uh, sits in a beautifully bound book on my parents' coffee table. Um, and that little book was uh, apparently Mr. Bissell's Christmas card one year and uh, we treasure that book and we treasure the story and it just wouldn't be Christmas without it.